Hey, I'm CC Summers, and I am not ready for this. <laughs> when I did my Meme Lord April Fool's Day video, um, I did not expect for a part to come true. I wish there was an ending in this game where you go home with someone else and Ren has regrets and he comes and saves you and takes you to his house instead. How great of an ending would that be? It would be so great. But here we are. So you need a certain achievement in order to unlock Ren as a path. And because I had to wipe all of my save data for the Mason one, um, I don't have it yet. So I need to go through again to get that achievement and then go through his path. So I'll see you in a second. <laughs> so there is a Meme Lord version of the DLC. And I am highly tempted to play the Meme Lord version just to lessen the impact of this game. But I figured I would just play it through first and then I'll probably do another run where I do Meme Lord mode. Also, I thought you would appreciate my shirt. I thought it was perfect. I bought it the second I saw it. <laughs> okay, I'm just procrastinating. Let's do this, I guess. It's like I'm psychic, but only for bad things. <laughs> All right, announcer, let's do this. We're not messing around. Love to take you home, so do it. No for realsies, guy. I want to go home with you. Please. I fumbled for reasons. These people all sound insane. Surely I stand a better chance with whoever is doing the announcing here. I want to go with you, not them. Please. I flushed at the sound of desperation in my voice. Please just let this work. That's kind of cute. You know, maybe you should take her home. Celia, don't side with me. <laughs> You've never sided with me. Don't side with me now. What the fuck are you talking about? We already bid. Relax. There's other choices, aren't there? Oh, of course. We have a very diverse and exciting selection of products for you to peruse today. <laughs> See, you can just bid on another one. And I'm sure his fans would love to see another show. Fuck. I stood there, frozen, listening to the exchange. Something about the Blue Window's voice changed when she mentioned a show. I'm humbled and flattered. Whatever you're deciding, get it over with. Oh, yes, I'm terribly sorry for the interruption. Well, how about this? If you're willing to so graciously relinquish this delightful specimen to myself, I'll give you three a 10% discount on your next purchase. Oh, you're too kind. I happily accept. And I'm sure the others do too. Don't talk for me, bitch. Thanks, Derek. <laughs> but I guess it's fine. I didn't really want this one anyways. Sure. <laughs> Silence overtook the room again as the others waited for the green window to speak. It's fine. I can wait for another one. So it's settled then. What an exciting turn of events. I suppose I'm the one who won this bid. He let out another barking laugh. Let's get her packed up and move on to our next product. Packed up. And, okay. Yeah. I'm not ready. <laughs> I 
Look at all the fun things that are going to happen. The first thing I noticed was a pounding headache. Then a strange sound. Clicking? I strained to hear as the clicking became the rapid tapping of a keyboard. I opened my eyes. It's dark. Why am I so uncomfortable? I began to register my position, kneeling on the floor with my arms above my head. That sounds familiar. I tried to lower my arms and heard the unsettling clink of heavy chains. Oh? Someone was in front of me. Look who's awake. Looking like a whole ass Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic. Get the fuck out of my face. Ugh. Right on schedule. I jerked in surprise away from him, but the chains held me in place. The voice was strange, flat, and mechanical. Again, your animatronic ass. I couldn't make out his face. So how are you? Oh, so good. So good. Do you remember what happened? As my brain started to wake up, a thousand questions started to bubble to the surface. What's on your head? Your ears. <laughs> oh, I could just yell. Let's just yell. Fuck you. I'm not answering your goddamn questions. I mustered my energy and screamed as loud as I could. The sound was cut immediately by the hard slap to the side of my face. Kit? <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> You're too close to me. Too much in my shit. You're only annoying the two of us. This room is underground, soundproofed, and carefully hidden. No one will hear you. Oh shit, took my sanity down. <laughs> I groaned, trying to get my bearings again. That is, until I want them to. Oh. <laughs> but don't worry about that right now. You made a choice. A choice to become my lovely co-star. <laughs> and I have to admit, I'm a bit giddy. No one's ever asked to come with me before. And it's been so long since I've put on a show. As he spoke, I tried to take note of my surroundings. It's so dark. But I looked at the man in front of me. Aside from the strange ears and what appeared to be a tail, he's so short and he has a slender build. A little flame of hope came to life in my chest. I definitely made the right choice. I could have a chance in a fight. You know, me like when when we first encountered him, right? Like in Boyfriend of Death 2. Yes, we had a we had a fighting chance. Not because we were stronger, but because he was a lot more timid. But now he's stronger and confident. And that's going to bite us in the ass. <laughs> because you know there's going to be an option where I can attempt some sort of attack on him. And that will lead to my demise. But I just can't help myself. <laughs> I looked down at myself, and my train of thought was completely derailed. Underwear? And it's... lacy. This definitely isn't mine. Ah, yes, your outfit. I thought it would be perfect for your first show. What do you think? Uh, give my clothing back, you motherfucker. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I suppose there's no accounting for taste. Besides, it's not really about what you prefer anyway. He chuckled, supposedly amused by his own train of thought. We're going to have so much fun. And I just know chat will love you. Chat? The question popped out before I could think about it. Yes, darling. In just a few moments, we're going live. It's a big audience we've gathered. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can call me Fox. Everyone else does. Okay. 
Ren. Can't tell me what to do. <laughs> he placed a finger to my lips, and I feel the odd sensation of a claw above it. Don't worry, I don't need your name. I already know it. I opened my mouth to protest, but he had already turned away. I looked at the equipment surrounding me. They're... cameras? A deep fear started to creep up my throat. Wait, you can't film me, you can't... Shh, we're already starting. Hello? Can you hear me? How's the feed? I could tell he wasn't speaking to me. I couldn't quite see around him. Haha, ha, yes, you too. My goodness, you got in here fast. He cleared his throat and stood up straight. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad you can join me on such short notice. Oh, oh yes, I missed you too. Yes, my beautiful patrons of exquisite taste. Welcome back. He lifted his voice and spoke in a deeply impressive way to his audience. It overcame the mechanical flatness that seemed to be caused by his mask. I've got such a treat for you today. A fresh face. Please say hello to Cece. So happy to be here. Thanks for having me. She was going to be used for other business, but she wanted to come here instead. I squinted at the computer screen. It was some kind of chat room and a video feed of me. These people are watching me? Go fuck yourselves for watching this. What are you looking at? You sick fucks. Why aren't you calling the police? What's wrong with you? I strained against the chains. His sharp laugh cut through the air again. So feisty. And they always say they like it. And they never do. He's... He's going to be like, you talked shit for the last time. And then he's going to kill me. <laughs> we do love the spirited ones, don't we? No. No, you fucking don't. No, you don't. Don't lie. Don't fucking lie. Don't lie to me. And don't lie to them. You know. The more spirited you are, the faster you're going to die. Oh, and a big win for Diamond. You really do have such excellent intuition. What the fuck is he talking about? What is this? I gritted my teeth. Yelling isn't getting me anywhere. Oh, Rancor, that's disgusting. Ha ha ha. Maybe later, maybe later. Come on now, you guys know the drill. We need to pace ourselves. I need to make it last, right? Let's start small. He suddenly got close to me. He gently grabbed one of my pinky fingers. I tried to pull it away, but my hands were shackled together and chained up. Get those bets ready. This counts as first blood, all right? He yanked my finger backwards with vicious force. My scream dissolved into a pained groan. I looked back up to him, half expecting him to be facing the computer. But he wasn't. He was staring intently at me. My hands were shaking as I tried to hold back tears. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh my god. And to think, when I had his ass chained up in Strayed's basement, and I was putting nails through his ears with the nail gun, I felt bad. I felt horrible. I was like, oh my god, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, I don't want to keep putting nails in his ears. This sucks. Should I leave it there or put it back? I opened my mouth and choked down a whimper before speaking. Put it fucking back. Don't... That's not where it goes. That's not where pinky fingers go. He seemed pleased by my request. Of course. He immediately grabbed my finger and pulled it back into place. The wet grinding sound in my hand made me feel sick. But I managed to endure it without screaming. And it did seem to feel slightly better. 
I flinched as he moved, but it was only to turn to the screen again. So, what do we think? Yes, I think so too. His tail swished behind him excitedly. Already? He laughed sharply. Well, with a donation like that, your wish is my command. So, feet again, pandemonium. Leave my feet alone. Don't touch my feet. No, 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 no. I'm just teasing, of course. Let's see what we can do. He took a theatrical bow before stepping back towards me. Wait, don't... He ignored me completely as he bent down to my level. My protest cut off in surprise as he reached behind me and... Uh oh. Touched my booty. I heard him breathing through the mask as he took a moment to squeeze the flesh. Don't touch me. He slid his hands slowly down into the crook of my legs. Then he pulled, yanking my shins out painfully from under me. I yelped as my weight dropped entirely to my shackled wrists above me. What are you doing? He continued to ignore me and adjusted a camera. Now that my feet were in front of me, I realized that they too were shackled together. I shuddered as he held one of my feet and rubbed with a clawed thumb. Take a good look, guys. Fucking no, don't, 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 no. <laughs> no. The glint of a knife seemed to stop my heart for a moment. Things are about to get messy. <laughs> Fuck. I tried to jerk my foot out of his grasp, but his grip was as tight as the iron shackles. Pain streaked up my leg as he pressed the tip of the knife into my soul. I clenched my jaw and tried not to scream. I didn't want to give these people what they surely wanted. I didn't want to look, but... He caught my gaze and a knowing look crossed his eyes. He plunged the knife deep into the bones and tendons of my foot. I only realized I was shrieking a moment later. Uh, we've got plenty of blood now, yay. I was shaking uncontrollably and hanging from my wrist made it terribly obvious. She's gotten nice and wet. What do you think, chat? He leaned closer to me. Should I have a feel? No. How about no? How about... <laughs> how about we don't do that? He didn't look at his screens or wait for an answer. No. He shoved his thumb into the wound in my foot, tearing another scream for me with his thick claw. Uh, no. My vision wavered as he massaged his thumb roughly in the wound. But you begged for this. Or did you forget? Please, I didn't... He flipped the knife in a show for the camera. You did. And I think chat would like to see some more blood. I hope that we get to tear his heart out through his chest and eat it like he did with the person who did this to him. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Isn't that right? He finally relinquished my foot and turned to his monitors. After reading for a moment, he chuckled. You guys are so one-track minded. That's why I love you. As the pain in my foot turned to a duller ache, I noticed the pain in my wrists again. I struggled to get my feet back under myself, and he noticed. Here, let me help you with that. Please don't. I cursed myself for flinching from him again, but he simply pushed my legs into their first position. Now, Chad is still thirsty. What do you think? Fuck you! He laughed sharply. I had a feeling you would say something like that. He leaned in close to me and lowered his voice to a whisper. Chad adores the feisty ones. He moved to give a clear view for the cameras. He raised the knife, my blood still clinging to the edge. I sucked in a breath in preparation as he lowered it to the skin of my chest. He raked it shallowly across my body, slicing apart the lacy top he dressed me in. Like, shit, man, you had this stuff done to you, and it made you so fed up that you ripped the heart out of the man who did it and ate his heart. You ate it. And you're going to turn around and do that same shit to somebody else? It stung, but I kept my composure as well as I could. For a moment, I wondered why he would cut apart the underwear he must have bought. 
I looked down at his knife, and the absurdity of that thought almost made me laugh. What is happening to me? How is our health at 89%? The sting of the blade interrupted the chaos of my thoughts. I couldn't suppress a groan this time. He was cutting deeper than before. A hot trickle of blood made its way over my heaving chest. I barely registered a low hum coming from him as he stroked warm fingers over my bloody chest. The sensation made me shiver involuntarily. Lovely. He raised the knife to my collarbone. I winced before the knife touched me, but it didn't prepare me for the intense pain. I couldn't help but cry out. It hurt so much worse than the other cuts. His other hand had dipped to my waist. Don't touch me. My composure was breaking. I could feel it. He kept cutting, and I kept crying. When I raised my voice, his hand squeezed my waist, claws digging into my skin. I glanced down and choked. My entire body was covered in blood now. Is he going to kill me like this? As if he could read minds, he stilled his hands and leaned in close. I could hear him breathing hard through the mask. I didn't dare speak. His ear twitched toward the computers, and then he stood up. He wiped off the blade and read the words on screen. Yeah, I got a little carried away. Haha, <laughs> oh. But can you blame me? His hips swayed to the side, as if all he'd done was some kind of charming foible. Oh, wow. Thank you for the very generous no donation, wound fucker. God damn it, wound fucker. Get out of these kind of videos, man. Get some help. Get some help. Is there something special you'd like to see? Anything from my most loyal customer. Hmm? Oh, of course. Is that all? He suddenly turned back to me. God, no more. He circled behind me and crouched in a fluid motion. I flinched at the sound of a metallic click. But to my surprise, the wrist shackles were disconnected from the chain above me. I fell forward clumsily until I was caught by clawed hands. No, no, come on back up. He pulled me back upright on my knees against him with surprising firmness. My hands were still bound by the shackles, but I relished the release of the strain from hanging. But my relief was short-lived as he grabbed my chin from behind and forced me to look into the cameras. You've been so quiet, darling. Why don't you say something nice for your admirers? His claws dug into my cheeks in direct contrast to his sickly sweet tone of voice. I spat as hard as I could at the camera in front of me. Ugh! I realized with some sense of satisfaction that I got on the lens. He shoved me forward onto my face. I struggled with my shackled wrists beneath me, until a swift kick collided with my ribs. Pain exploded through my torso. I couldn't breathe. I laid there paralyzed as his shoes walked past me to the camera. A flash of metal on the tip of a shoe told me why it hurt so much. I wondered if he broke a rib. There. How is it? Nice and clear again? Yes. Very funny. You guys are so... He started laughing. Really? You bet that much? You really do have excellent intuition, Diamond. Congratulations on your big win. Hmm? Oh yes. Of course, I haven't forgotten. A hand clasped around my neck and yanked me backward onto my knees again. I wheezed, still struggling to breathe. Break time's over. Something wrapped around my neck from behind. A wave of panic washed over me as I tried to grasp it with my bound hands. It was some sort of cable, pulling tighter and tighter. I couldn't grab it. I can't breathe. I tried to throw myself to the side, but all it did was tighten the wire around my neck. With increased urgency, I clawed at my own neck. I can't. You know, wound fucker. Panic eclipsed all other sensation. I dug my own fingernails deep into my neck. I think I snaked this one from your boy. It wouldn't move. It's too tight. I can't... The shackles on my wrist got heavier and heavier. Does he mean Derek? What? 
Which one of them would have been wound fucker? It was a little funny. I think he was a bit upset. He is talking about Derek. be the the one the oh fuck what's his name the one that dressed up like a dog i wonder if they're talking about jack it's either jack or either komodo or dragon i mean obviously that's the whole group but <laughs> like because jack because he has like the whole like what did he say he was a jackal, that's right. He has that whole thing going on. Um, but Komodo and Dragon, I'm thinking it could be them because they worship Strayed. And Strayed, as we all know, liked to do that. I'm done speculating. They can all get wrecked. <laughs> the wire. I have to... My shaking hands kept dropping as I mentally screamed at myself to lift them. To pull the wire off, to do anything. He has good taste, just like his old man. What? 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 Is he saying that he's Derek's father? Oh, Ren, how low you have you have stooped to raise a son like Derek. That's the offspring you produced? Derek? I am very upset. <laughs> my hands fell into my lap like lead. My vision darkened. Fox's voice became jovial static. I couldn't feel anything, nothing at all. There it is. Something hit me. My desperate lungs tore a violent inhale from the air. My body exploded into a terrible mess of coughing and sobbing. I begin to writhe against the ground. When did I fall? What is happening? Oh, nation. We can wrap it up with. How's it going, sweetie? Huh? Fully loaded wants to see you perform. I was still gasping. I could barely understand what was happening. You need to wake up. He grabbed my head. Before I could register what was happening, he slammed my face into the floor. I felt the crunch in front of my face throughout my whole body. I was fully paralyzed with agony. He pulled my wrists up and reattached them to the chain above. Blood streamed down my face. I couldn't do anything but stare in shock. He grabbed the sides of my head and forced me to look straight ahead. Are you guys ready for the finale? Just get it over with, man. <laughs> He pressed himself into the back of my head. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 walk away. Go away from me. Go away from me. When he came back, my blood ran cold. He waved a gun in clear view of the cameras. No, wait. I'm not going to kill you. If you do a good job, anyway. Actually... He turned to his monitors. Why don't we play a little game? It'll be fun. I heard the rapid tapping of a keyboard. I've made a poll. Let's see how we can, how quickly we can get a full red bar with zero green bar. <laughs> He turned back to me with a horrific glint in his eye. 
I cringed involuntarily as he approached me and raised the gun to my face. Cece is going to... No. God damn it. What? You guys will vote on whether or not I pull the trigger. See, but he is not very reliable in these situations because last time he was in this kind of situation and he had the gun, he shoots you with it. I mean, granted, it was a nail gun, but still. We were doing everything that he asked and he still shot us with the nail gun on accident. Not feeling good about my survival chances at this point. What do you think? I trembled as he read the screens. He looked back at me. You better get to work. They've already started voting. Nah, fuck you. I'm not doing that. He's going to kill me anyway. I might as well keep my dignity. Really? Are you sure? You heard me. He glanced back at his monitor. Oh my. That was fast. What was that, like 15 seconds? <laughs> Chess seems to have made up their mind. Well, thank you all for joining me in another wonderful stream. Everybody say bye-bye. Bye. He looked back at me. Bye-bye. I wonder how many endings there are, because it doesn't show. Can you click on his little thingy? No. Derek is the eldest son and heir of an insanely wealthy investor slash luxury goods mogul. He is So, as I rightfully pointed out, doing the go fuck yourself route always ends in death. <laughs> Very quick death. So, I'm going to try to do the, I'll just do everything you fucking asked me to do and I won't complain about it route. And then still get killed because they get bored. And they're like, well, she doesn't struggle and she doesn't like, you know act like she doesn't want to be there, then that's just boring. Let's try to answer your questions. It hurts. I was at the auction and you're the announcer? Yes, yes, that's right. Now don't worry about all of that. You made a choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't agree to this. If I had known, I would have just picked Celia again. Uh, it's so cute. It's just such a cute little outfit. You like it so much. So much. It does look so cute on you. Wow. Thanks so much, announcer. I spent quite a bit of time picking out the right set. I'm sure you did. So much fun. So much. We're just gonna look. I'm just gonna be like, you like my clothes? <laughs> I sank lower into my position, held up by shackles. There's no point in screaming or crying, I can tell. I need to be patient and careful and wait for my moment. Okay. So I guess let's put it back, because it felt better, right? Um... Do whatever you want, homie. Do whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. I'm easy going. I'm laid back. What do you want from me? Great. No ask too big for old Cece here. Do you really mean it? Of course. He let out a single sharp laugh. I'm so glad to have your blessing. He moved to give a clear view for the cameras. He raised the knife, my blood still clinging to the edge. All right, and then he starts slicing my chest like a bitch. What's up, chat? How you doing? She's so shy. He forced my head to shake with his hand. That's okay, though. We can see you're trying your best, can't we? Ugh. 
confidence. We gotta have confidence in us. Is this what you want, homie? Awesome. Let's fucking, let's go. Let's do it. We're gonna put our whole ass into it. We're not half ass and nothing. Whole ass. I can do this. I just have to imagine it's it's not a gun. Okay. He gleefully shoved the gun inside. Ugh. I immediately tasted blood. It must be from my face. My nose must be broken. I won't let that distract me. I stuck my tongue out and made sure the cameras could see. I'll give you a fucking show. Okay. It went up a little bit. Okay. The gun's gone. He was looking at the screen. What a damn shame. I thought you did really well. Wait, what? But they're the ones in charge. So let's ask him about what's on his head. What's on your head there, my guy? Really? Of all the things to be concerned about, you want to know about my ears? Yeah. Don't worry about that. What? Well, answer my question, homie. I know they're your ears, but like... They real? Announcer? Because I don't know who you are. <laughs> I hate this fucking girly stuff. I... Fuck this. Gross. Suppose there's no accounting for taste. Suppose there's no accounting for you being a bitch ass. Hey, why doesn't somebody help me, bro? I was kidnapped. I didn't ask to be here. Call the police. My voice wavered with my conviction as I saw Fox standing by, uncaring. As if this was exactly what he expected. I tried to see the computer screen. He addressed the camera. Yep, another one in the bag bucket. Honestly, I don't know why you guys bet on anything else. Sorry, Diamond, but let's see how your other bets go, hmm? There's a good sport. No one was calling the police. No one seemed to care at all. All right, leave my finger alone then. Leave it alone. Don't touch me. He bent in front of me as, as his eyes betrayed a grin. As you wish. Fuck you. <laughs> Just don't do that anymore, homie. Just stop it. Stop that. Stop. <laughs> I gasped as he lunged close to me without warning and cradled my jaw in his hand. You will. You will do whatever I want. He lowered his voice to a whisper. I want you to keep begging and crying for the cameras. And I want you to bleed. He moved to give a clear view for the cameras. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Still don't, still don't do this, my guy. He gleefully pressed his face against mine. You're so cute. <laughs> I could just eat you up. Then just fucking do it. Put your actions where your mouth is, bitch. <laughs> Get it over with. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be reluctant. Reluctant participants. I don't have a choice. Okay, there he goes. I squeezed my eyes shut and tried to ignore the pain. Ignore the gun. Ignore the sound of him. Doing, oh god. And they still want me to die. Well, son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking figure this out. <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm the announcer from the auction. No shit. You asked to come with me. Don't you remember? But don't worry about that. You made a choice. I wonder if there's like some, what am I missing? Is there something I haven't clicked on? I can't search or anything. Did you change me? He leaned down close to me and spoke in a low voice. Would you like to see? I didn't know how to reply, but he didn't wait for an answer anyway. 
Instead, he picked something up off to the side. I heard a soft beep. Then, the small screen of a camcorder was thrust in front of my face. It took a second for my eyes to adjust, but... Skin? My throat tightened as I realized I was looking at myself. I got fucking muscular, bro. I love that. <laughs> the camera swept over my body before being jostled as if it was given to someone else. Then he entered the shot. I shuddered involuntarily as I watched his hands trail all over my skin. I was still in my underwear, as I had been at the auction. He was silent. He pulled up a bit of my underwear. I wanted to scream at myself to wake up. He tore through the underwear with his bare hands and... Claws? I could feel myself flushing, but I couldn't look away. My naked body was completely exposed to him. And I had no idea. I wanted to say something, but the words just wouldn't come out. A set of lacy underwear was dangled in the camera's view. He slowly slipped them onto my limp body. He seemed to be very careful with his claws, avoiding both the lingerie and my skin. Then, once it was on my body, he stopped for a moment to admire his work. With a growing sense of unease, I saw that the underwear fit me perfectly. The version of him in the video circled back around to take the camera back. As he did a final, agonizingly slow sweep over my body before the video cut out. I... What do you think? It's... You. My fans found it very exciting. His... What? He seemed delighted by my frozen reaction. Yes, that was my little teaser. Other people saw? Oh, yes. And they're so eager to see more. Ugh. Hey, why don't you uh, do something useful? Where the fuck am I, bitch? You're exactly where you asked to be. He chuckled softly. But don't worry about that. You made a choice. Fuck off. Can I have some more clothes? <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid not. It's really more of a bare skin type of show we're doing. You get it, don't you? He laughed quietly to himself. Oh. Searching very hard to see if there's anything that I can click on. <laughs> so far, I'm not seeing anything. And I'm trying to see if the actions change. Okay, I think I misinterpreted. Okay, I don't think Derek is Ren's son. Because... When you look at this, it says that he... pointed Derek to an auction to obtain his own mandatory victim. So I'm guessing Woundfucker is Derek's father. Which, I mean, is probably good for Ren, because shit, Derek is... <laughs> you know, like, he's just... I don't know how many endings are left, but I know that I'm missing some stuff. And I know that I'm going to have to come back to it. And play again. Um, I'm definitely going to play in meme lord mode next time, just to see if, <laughs> if I can make it a little bit more palatable. Um, I need to figure out how to fucking make it through the first show. Because nothing I'm doing is working. I'm obviously very boring. So if you have any tips for me, <laughs> let me know. Um, because from what I've been seeing, the DLC is fucking brutal and really hard to get through. And that was pretty just on par with normal. So obviously I am missing a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. I should have just left Ren in that fucking basement when I had the chance. Should just fucking put that collar back on him and give him his new little ear piercings and then fucking left him there. The world would have been better off. I wonder what would happen if I were to name my character Strayed. I'm going to try that next time, too. Well, I hope you had fun. 
<laughs> and I will see you later. You better be back later. I need help. I can't do this by myself. Cause I'm bored now Don't want you to spend the night Cause I'm bored now I already know I'm right Cause I'm bored now 